Hurricane Debbie hit Ireland on the morning of Saturday, September 16, 1961, and caused the deaths of 11 people. It had already caused a plane crash and the deaths of 60 people off the Cape Verde Islands when it began moving in Ireland's direction. According to Matt Aran, winds gusting over 110 miles per hour or 177 kilometers per hour were recorded as the center passed close to the southwest coast. And a gust of 113 miles per hour, almost 182 kilometers per hour, was recorded at Mullen Head, the joint highest gust ever recorded in Ireland, and the same as one recorded at Foynes, Colimerick on January 18, 1945 before the instrument pen went off the chart. Damage to property was extensive over the western half of the country. Debbie was unusual in developing into a hurricane so far east in the Atlantic, Medaran said. Afterwards, it moved on to cause severe gales over Scotland, and the remains of the storm could be traced as far east as Russia towards the end of the month. On Monday, September 18, 1961, the Irish Times reported the storm had killed 15 people on the island of Ireland. Deaths occurred due to falling walls, trees and debris as well as drowning. Four members of one family, driving in cabin, died when an ash tree fell across their car and the roof was crushed to seat level. A man was killed while sitting on a bench outside a Dublin hospital when a branch fell on him. Another man died in Navin when a wall collapsed on him and a man in Fermanagh died when part of a roof blew off and hit him on the neck. Many other people were treated for injuries caused by falling trees and slates, and one hospital in Northern Ireland treated 48 people. Fishing boats were blown ashore at Dingle, Cowcarry and small craft sunk in various harbours. Meteorologists have also drawn comparisons between Ophelia and Storm Darwin, which hit Ireland in February 2014. During that storm, the Kinsale gas platform off the Cork coast was hit by a 25m high wave. Shannon Airport recorded a maximum gust of 160 km per hour 99 miles per hour, and more than 215,000 homes lost power. There was also extensive coastal flooding and damage to buildings. Up to 7.5 million trees were blown down, between 5,000 and 7,000 hectares of forestry.